Hey, you know what the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4? It says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say it, rejoice. The Bible even calls us in Romans chapter 5 to rejoice in our sufferings. Whatever that suffering is, for some people it could be way worse. It could be a family member passing. It could be something small like this poison ivy that I have right here, right? Whatever it is, it could be something frustrating that you're going through in a friendship, in a relationship, a breakup, whatever it is that you're facing. I want to encourage you and challenge you to rejoice in the Lord through it. Because guess what? If you're a Christian, your name is written in the book of life and nothing can take that away. So even though these circumstances are against you, you can rejoice in the goodness of God because God's character and nature is never changing. He is good throughout all generations. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he loves you. So we can rejoice in God. Rejoice in the Lord. Again, I will say it, rejoice. Psalm 150, the last psalm in the Bible, he says, praise the Lord over and over again. I encourage you, read Psalm 150. See how many times David talks about praising the Lord, no matter what he's facing. David praised God, and I encourage you to do the same.